Welcome to this presentation by MC Productions. The following is an introduction on the basic parts of meiosis and mitosis to help you better understand these processes. The first step in either mitosis or meiosis begins with the condensation of genetic material, chromatin, into tightly coiled body, the chromosomes. Each chromosome is made of two identical halves called sister chromatids connected at the centromere. Each chromosome consists of a single tightly coiled molecule of DNA, the genetic material of a cell. In diploid cells, there are two copies of each chromosome forming a pair called homologous chromosomes. Now I am proud to introduce the new MTV hit single by MC Production. The nuclear envelope breaks down to the right side of the local current, and the jewel is connected to the dead hole, which causes the chromosome to move back, forward, side, side, toward the pole, and the center stone to move apart. In metaphase, the chromosome collides with the metaphase plate. The metaphase plate is an imaginary plane in the center of the divided stuff. The chromosome in metaphase also move apart to different poles. They split up and form two chromatids. The chromatids can then be called separate chromosomes. My two holes are connected to a chromosome, shortly, pointing the chromosome to the opposite side of the pole. The overlapping microtubules push the poles apart. Then each pole is ends up with a separate pair of chromosomes, and the original amount as the original is by itself. During cell phase, a nuclear envelope is used to form at two poles and two nuclei to form. Chromosome disperses into chromatin and cytomesis occur as a group called cytosperm splits the cytoplasm into two. Oh, Eleanor, you look so pretty tonight. Thanks, Henry. Not so bad yourself. Oh, Eleanor, I love spending time with you. I loved our date, Henry Poo. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Eleanor. I love you, Henry. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello, Henry, it's me. Eleanor? Yes, Henry, it's me, Eleanor. How are you today, Eleanor? Good, fine. I have some news for you, Henry. News? What kind of news? Well, well, I'm pregnant. Ding! You're pregnant? Who's the father, Eleanor? Uh, well, Henry, you see, you're the father. Dun, dun, dun. As Henry and Eleanor sleep, meiosis is going on. Meiosis produces gametes, that is, eggs and sperm, for sexual reproduction. The fusing of an egg and sperm, called fertilization, gives rise to a diploid cell, the zygote, which will become Henry and Eleanor's future baby. Meiosis consists of two groups of divisions. In meiosis 1, homologous chromosomes pair at the metaphase plate and migrate to opposite poles. In meiosis 2, chromosomes spread across the metaphase plate and sister chromatids separate and migrate to opposite poles. In prophase 1, the nucleolus disappears. Chromatin condenses into chromosomes. We're condensing? Oh my god, I didn't know. Really? That's so sad. What's going on? No, no, wait. We've already condensed. The nuclear envelope breaks down and the spindle apparatus develops. Homologous chromosomes pair in a process called synapsis. These pairs of homologous chromosomes are variously referred to as tetrads. That's us! We're crossing over! Yay, we're crossed over! At metaphase 1, homologous pairs of chromosomes are spread across the metaphase plate. That's along here. 
Microtubules extending from one pole are attached to the kinetic core of one member of each homologous pair. Microtubules from the other pole are connected to the second member of each homologous pair. Oh my god, I feel like I'm being attached! Me too! And a phase one begins when homologues within tetras uncouple as they are pulled to opposite poles. Wee! Wee! In child phase one, the chromosomes have reached their respective poles and a nuclear membrane develops around them. Each pole will form a new nucleus that will have half the number of chromosomes. Half? Half? No! I miss no you! No way, guys! Bye! In prophase 2, the nuclear envelope disappears and the spindle develops. There are no chiasmata and no crossing over of genetic material as in prophase 1. Phase 2, the chromosomes align singly on the metaphase plate, not in tetrad as in metaphase 1. Now there's only half the number of chromosomes. Again! Oh man! Anaphase 2 begins as each chromosome is pulled apart into two chromatids by the microtubules of the spindle apparatus. The chromatids migrate to their respective poles. Now there is only half the number of chromosomes. In telophase 2, the nuclear envelope reappears at each pole and cytokinesis occurs. The end result of meiosis is four haploid cells. Each cell contains half the number of chromosomes and each chromosome consists of only one chromatid. Crossing over is a genetic type of variation. During prophase 1, non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes exchange pieces of genetic material. Independent assortment of homologs is another genetic variation, where tetrads of homologous chromosomes separate into chromosomes that go to opposite poles. Random joining of gametes is yet another genetic variation. Oh, Eleanor, she's beautiful. What do you think we should call her? I think we should call her Jane. Jane, that's perfect. I love you, Eleanor. I love you too, Henry Koo. Uh, where you are seems to be as far as in eternity. I've stretched arms, open hearts, and if it never ends, then when I'll never leave you behind or treat you unkind. I know you understand. Oh.